My name's Greg Rebello. I've been fighting MMA for 10 years. My record's 16 and 5. I uh, fight right out of Providence, Rhode Island here at uh, Triforce Academy and uh, CEO Tong Academy up in Boston. Uh, so I started my career in uh, 2005. I uh, played hockey my whole life. You know, I started playing uh, juniors after, after uh, high school. And when that ended, you know, I kind of just needed something else to, you know, I never combat sport. Like I said, I had my first fight in 05 at the Avalon nightclub in Boston, which I don't even think is there anymore. And uh, ever since, it's pretty much, I got hooked right after that. It's been my life, you know, I, uh, I had a really good run, um, you know, my first, you know, four or five years. And uh, in 2010, I actually uh, got casted on the Ultimate Fighter TV show on Spike TV. Uh, I fought on that. I lost in the fight to uh, get into the house. You know, unfortunately, I didn't make it. You know, but I kept training. I kept coaching. I coach a lot of good fighters. The biggest thing with that is, you know, it just made me so hungry to fight again. You know, it really fired me up to like get back in the cage and fight again. You know? I fought on Bellator a couple of times. Um, you know, I had another fight at the Mohegan Sun, which was like a huge fight for me. You know, unfortunately. I lost the decision, you know, I didn't get beat up, I just, you know, I, I didn't get the job done. Six months ago I retired. I've been in this sport a long time, and uh, I love it. But, you know, I got a baby girl at home, I got a family, and uh, this is my last fight tonight. I, I, I kind of decided this for a while, but, uh, you know, I got other things to do. Uh, this is a young man's sport. There's so many young kids in my gym, man, and I love them. I had a beautiful daughter of mine, Juliana, that was born uh, last September. Obviously that's, you know, a life changer. I think a lot of fighters go through that, and it, it, you know, it, it makes it difficult to train. You have, you know, obviously a lot more outside the cage and outside the training that you have to take care of and that you have to worry about. And uh, you know, fighting was all, my whole life. You know, I always loved fighting and combat sports, and that was like the number one thing. Um, you know, when my daughter was born, you know, both me and my girlfriend kind of put everything we had on the side. You know what I mean? It was all about family, and it was all about her. So, uh, you know, it became hard to kind of juggle them both. You know, that's why. Last June, I thought it was like a good time for me to step out, and it was a good time for me to retire. I sat down and thought about it for a little while, and, and you know, I just I wasn't done, man. I wanted to come back, and uh, couldn't end my career like I did in my last fight. It was just uh, probably the worst fight of my career. I had a lot of things going on, a lot of pressure on myself. Kind of put too much on myself, and uh, here we go, pulling the Brett Favre, man, and coming back out of retirement, only for the first time. It won't happen again, I don't think. You know, I've had fights on the main stage, and uh, I, I know what it's like to be there, and uh, you know, I, I know how you have to train and how you have to fight to be, able to be on that level. And, uh, you know, I still think I have, you know, I have a fight left in me and, and I still think that I can fight on that main stage. You know, I, I train with a lot of guys at that level and uh, not that, you know, training and fighting is a totally different thing, but, uh, you know, I'm still hungry to get another shot on a big show like Bellator. You know, they've been doing a lot of shows. And MMA is a huge thing here. You know, as you know, it's only been in Rhode Island for uh, almost three years now. I actually got a text today from the matchmaker and. Three years ago today was actually uh, my first fight for CES in Rhode Island. They, uh, you know, they had just passed it and, and allowed it to have it in Rhode Island. And, uh, they do great shows at Twin River. They, uh, they put, you know, they're putting fighters in Bellator, guys in the UFC, and uh, the best talent in the Northeast is filtered into CES. And uh, you know, it's 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 awesome to be able to fight in your backyard.